right through it Happiness is here at last Let me tell you how it happened Some took over me Got my hands and feet Couldn't stay in my seat Now I clearly see day it is may 10th holy crap it's the 10th of may today i have to run a few errands so i will bring you along with that so all of my work is done i woke up early got everything done so i could have the day to do all the stupid stuff that i've been putting off for the past two weeks i do need to go into sephora and return this i got the ren clean skincare ever calm anti-redness serum so I have mild rosacea that my skin gets really really red and I have like like um they're not actual acne spots like they're not whiteheads or anything they're just red bumps and it's just my irritated skin it's like the I think it blood vessels or whatever are at the surface of my skin. I was looking at serums, I was looking at moisturizers or cleansers that I can use because my skin's super sensitive. And everyone said if you have rosacea, they highly recommend this product. So I used it and I, I didn't find it helped with my redness at all, but one thing that I can't stand is the smell. Like, I'm really big on smell, and it smells like grape cough syrup, like, you know, when you took it when you were a kid? And I can't, I can't do it. I absolutely hate grape. I hate grape juice and, like, all that stuff. Like, I just can't do it. And um, I didn't see any noticeable difference in my skin, so I'm going to take it back. It was... I bought it during the VIB sale, so it only... It was 59 uh, dollars originally, but then with the sale it came to 50.15. So I'm just gonna get that back, and then I might pick up a few other things. Um, I've been really enjoying the Drunk Elephant Vitamin C Serum and the Hydration Serum. Uh, it comes in like a little mini kit, so I think I'll pick that up um, just to restock because I'm kind of running out on the Vitamin C one. Every time I say vitamin, I think of how the British say vitamin. Um, it just sounds more posh and proper but I can't say that because we say vitamin here. Um, but yeah, um, yeah, now that I'm on like a little tangent rant, if you guys are still here, um, I wanted to talk about social media and, and just about like influencers and all that stuff. I've seen it in a few of my friends like posting on their Instagrams or their Twitters or whatever and even talking about it on their channels and sorry my allergies are really bad and my nose just keeps running it's really gross uh, so I'm sorry if I'm touching it. People who are creators are getting so down because they're comparing themselves to other people or they're they're just letting that absorb what, the reason as to why they do these things. Appreciate what you do and find the sole reason as to why you do it and to your passion for it and everything like that. Like, everybody has a passion. Everybody has dreams and aspirations. It may not seem, it might seem that you don't have any right now. And I've been, like, it's a fair statement. Um, I've had moments where I'm like, I don't see a future w with myself. Not necessarily with somebody else, just not w with myself. And I just didn't know what I wanted. I didn't know what I needed and all that stuff. But if you take that time and take opportunities and move forward, then you'll learn as you go and, and grow all that stuff. So, you know, just take it one day at a time, I guess. It's easy to feel discouraged if you're not getting the right numbers or you're comparing yourselves and all that stuff. So just remember that you bring something different to the table. Like, not everybody can bring the same things. Like, each beauty blogger and, or fashion blogger or YouTuber, all that stuff, they all create, like, similar things, but their personality, their style, their humor, their quirks are all different, and that's what makes them them, and that's what makes other people attracted to them or, like, want to watch them. So, just, you know, stay with it. Um, and all that because I've seen a lot of people get discouraged and uh, it's kind of like I want to comment all the time or like on these on these posts and I want to you know just you know shake them and be like no you're great you're this like I love all this stuff but you can't do that you can't the you need to be your own support system as much as that sucks um, and yes everybody has their own support system and everybody has friends and you know you're not alone in this but the harsh reality that I've learned growing older is that you're number one, but you're also your own number one. 
So like you're your own person. So be that person for yourself because you need that. You need that support. You need that encouragement and all that stuff more importantly f from yourself than somebody else. So yeah, I need to shut up because this has gone on way too long. Um, but I really hope you guys took something from that. Even if you aren't a content creator, um, just find your passion and roll with it and don't let other people diminish that, you know? Everybody deserves happiness and everybody deserves to have that drive and to have that ambition, so run with it. That's all I'm gonna say about motivation. I'm gonna have lots of time lapses going on, some beat rolls, and uh, hopefully you enjoy the vlog. So yeah, let's go. <laughs> This lamp that my brother let me borrow for the time being. That pot, actually it kind of looks like pot. <laughs> Put my Vogue book on top and a coaster. And then all of my holiday decorations and stuff are in that bin. And there's this chair, which I've had forever, but I ordered a new pillowcase from Amazon. It's the office one, it says Dwight, you're ignorant slut. So I'm gonna put that there when it comes in. And then those are the prints there. I don't know how I feel about it. Actually, I feel like it should be a little bit lower, if anything. See, so yeah, it would look better if they had frames on them, but whatever. So yeah, and then that stuff I just need to go take upstairs. And then this stuff I need to organize and recycle a few things and take my printer upstairs. And yeah. Then I went into Airy and I picked up, it was 50% off bathing suits. So I got this one piece and I've been looking for a one piece like this for so long. It's originally 64, I think. Where's the tag? Yeah, 64.95. I got it for 30 or something. So anyway, yeah, I thought this was really nice. But I actually have a bunch of bathing suits that I've purchased over the last little while that I figured I'd show you now. I was going to do my a whole video on it, but they're all from different places that I figured it would just be kind of weird to just post like a bikini collection haul. So I figured I'll do a little bathing suit haul now. Take you around here. I got one at H&M, which I was in Toronto two Wednesdays ago, I think. Um, and I met my friend Elena and we went into the Eden Center and I saw that H&M had bathing suits. I was like, what? So I've been actually looking for a bathing suit like this. I saw this on um, Fashion Mumbler's Instagram, Josie, and I absolutely love it. It's like a scalloped bathing suit. I just thought it was really pretty. I don't know if you can tell, but it is cinched a little bit in the waist and like stomach area, so it kind of it looks pretty nice. But fair warning about this bathing suit is when you walk, it rides into your cheeks, so it's like hardcore wedgie. This is a size 4. I could have gone with a size 6, but it was a little big, like I could pull it. Um, in the stomach area, so probably in the butt area I should have gone with the six and just kind of worked with it. It is nice when it's wet though. It does feel a bit cheap, um, especially in this area here, like it's gonna rip, but it lasted me when I was walking in, around in the hot tub. I'm gonna just show you all my other bathing suits too. If you have seen my Shen haul, I bought these and this bathing suit, but the recent ones that I've picked up are these bottoms. I think they're from Roxy, yeah. Those are Roxy, and then to go with it is the matching navy top. This one's really nice because it's kind of like long cross, like a bandeau, um, so that's really nice. Uh, it's a sock. And then these two are from Cupshe. I bought these last year, but I didn't get a chance to show them because I was going to place another order, but it didn't end up going through, and I'm quite glad it didn't because I didn't really want to get more bathing suits. Um, but 
I'll just show them up on the bed. So these are the two bathing suits I got from Cupshe last year. This one's one of my favorites. I think it's so cute with the frill here. Back is nice because it's low but cuts across to tie the top. But it's just very pretty and everything. I really liked ordering from Cupshe because, or sorry, before I talk about that, I'm just gonna mention this one quickly. If you don't have boobs <laughs> or like if you have like a smaller chest like I'm a size a um, and I don't have a lot of cleavage I guess so bathing suits like this don't aren't very flattering on me because of it's open it just looks like my boobs are like dragging down and it just it's not very attractive I don't know how to describe it but just a fair warning if you kind of have like the same body type as me that it's not all that cool with the opened stomach bit um, just because this bit's kind of long so it just looks like my boobs just don't end it's weird but yeah i know so that's fair warning on that but these are pretty inexpensive i think they were 13 or 14 dollars um they came really quickly i ordered from the app so i think with the app you got like 15 or 20 percent off anyway um shipping wasn't terrible i didn't have to pay any duty on them I'll definitely order from them again in the future. I just I think I need to stop buying bathing suits now because after those two on my one piece things and all that, like I think I'm good. <laughs> and then all of my mixture of bikinis in there, I think I need to just chill on bathing suits for a while. But if you are looking to order bathing suits that are good quality and inexpensive, I think Cupshe is really, really good. Um, Zaffle, Shan, and Romway, they're not so bad. Just remember when you are ordering, make sure that the straps are adjustable because I've had some in the past that aren't and they just don't fit me. Uh, so just fair warning about that. Also, all the Cupshe bathing suits, that's the tie at the back. Um, so it loops in like so. I don't think I can do it with one hand, but that's what it you're dealing with up there. So yeah. Anyway, so that's my little informal bathing suit haul and collection. Like I said earlier, I think I'm done on buying bathing suits. I'm gonna have to go pick up my brother now. Oh, I really need to go pick up my brother, I'm late. Um, and then yeah, I think I'm just gonna chill. I'm gonna, um, I got approval while I was out for a brand. So I'm gonna come back answering that answer that email so I can get started on it um and like doing the final touches and then I can get that out later next week um but that's basically what I'm gonna do I'm gonna make some dinner and then yeah so it'll probably just be some time lapses or I will see you tomorrow on Saturday okay <laughs>